several researchers at OpenAI wrote a letter to the company's board of directors, warning of a new development that could prove dangerous to the world. OpenAI defines AGI as autonomous systems. The dream of AGI is a program that can generalize, learn and comprehend, rather than a calculator-like service that can only solve a set number of problems. Project Q-Star has thrilled some researchers at OpenAI, but also prompted concerns about its potential dangers. The letter that several researchers sent to OpenAI's board was among the concerns cited before Sam Altman was fired last week. There were internal concerns OpenAI didn't have enough safeguards in place to prevent any negative impacts from such a discovery. Who is Sam Altman and why would 700 people threaten to quit their job because he got fired? Sam Altman is the creator of ChatGPT. Over the weekend, he was fired by the board of OpenAI. Why would the board want him gone? Is it because Sam Altman testified to the U.S. Senate that AI requires regulation? Let's see who was on the board. Siobhan Zillis, who has two children with Elon Musk and is the president of Neuralink, Musk's company that wants to put a computer chip in your brain. Tara McCauley, who is Joseph Gordon-Levin's wife and the founder of Fellow Robots. She believes in effective altruism, which is the theory that rich people are super smart and thereby should be the ones to decide which humanitarian projects get funded for the greatest good. Ilya Sutskever, a Russian-born computer scientist. Adam D'Angelo, the former CTO at Facebook. Kelly Sims, who is the former head of comms for Twitter and a current partner at Thrive Capital, Thrive Capital, Jared Kushner's brother's company, and like five or six other super smart computer people. The only person on the board who didn't vote Altman out was the chairman of the board, which is Greg Brockman. Sam has called for coordinated international regulation of AI, saying while he is optimistic about the innovation of AI, if we don't regulate it, we could see significant harm to the world. Just days after his surprise ouster as chief executive sparked an employee revolt, Sam Altman has agreed to return to lead OpenAI, and new board members have replaced the previous leadership that ousted Altman. The announcement appears to bring an end to days of chaos for the AI industry that included negotiations over who should lead OpenAI and how the company should be managed, as well as broader discussions about just how fast AI technology should be moving. Ultimately, Microsoft and Sam Altman appear to be the big winners. Altman will continue leading the company he co-founded, now with a board that is more supportive of his vision. And Microsoft has gained more control over the company it invested billions in to help bolster its ambitions of developing AI, which many in Silicon Valley think will be the most important wave of technological advancement in the coming decades. As for Project Q-Star, OpenAI is maintaining a high level of secrecy around its research into AGI. And for good reasons. There are concerns about humans losing control over AGI, especially if it becomes self-improving and reaches a level of intelligence where it can make decisions independently. AGI, by definition, would have general cognitive abilities similar to those of humans. The fear arises from the uncertainty of how such a system might behave, as it could potentially surpass human intelligence. If AGI were to act in ways that are unpredictable, it could lead to unintended and potentially harmful consequences. The problem with AGI is if this machine takes over, how does it take over? Even if we, even if all humans come together and create a set of rules to okay. guide it, yeah. The AI might still misunderstand us. I'll give you an example. Suppose, suppose you tell an AI to take you to the airport as fast as possible. You might end up covered in vomit and chased yes. by the police. Yes. Technically, the AI adhered to your stated wish, but it did not understand the underlying purpose. Yes. So it would still do what you want, but it might do it in the wrong way. Even if everything goes well, there's still something bad that might happen, which is... If we program the AI to be good, to be, to be good to us, yes, the AI might realize that we're just a bunch of a bunch of kindergartners 
holding it in bondage. The widespread adoption of AGI could lead to significant economic disruptions, as machines could potentially perform tasks more efficiently than humans across a wide range of industries. This could lead to mass job displacement and other socio-economic challenges.